but we're like we've all just been sick right under the weather <laughs> so yeah we're back feeling much better now so we're coming with um with a new recipe since the beginning of the year you want to sell something sweet you know we want you to have a good year beginning you should be wonderful amazing you know no stress this year take life as it goes so we're here to bring you Ghana's wonderful most delicious well it's the whole of Africa really so um I know you guys know um, fan, fan Ice or Fan Milk, the brand, um, I think the company is called Fan Ice, right? So, um, oh, Fan Milk, Fan Ice, whatever. So we're going to show you how to make one of them. So guys, stay tuned. If you have a sweet tooth just like I do, you will love this. I know not many people will show you how they do it, how they make it and stuff. So this is a secret, stay tuned, you learn something, try and make it at home as well. The kids will love it. Even you, you'll love it yourself. But yeah, kids love sweet stuff, you know. So just give it a go. I have Regina as usual, who's gonna teach us all her secret recipes and stuff. So we have the ingredients here. She'll come, you know, go through the ingredients, go through the steps on how to make it as well. And we'll show the final finished product of course of me enjoying myself yep so guys i have regina as i was saying before she's here she's gonna show us her secret how to make this delicious dessert so regina welcome again thank you my love happy new year to you all once again as she said we've been off a bit but it's just a new year like we in the first month of the year and we would like to start with something sweet so for a whole month we're going to be going sweetness because we want our year to start with sweet whatever that we missed out from the last year it's an assurance to us that as we walked into 2022 we're going to be having a sweet year yes. so today as my sister said we make a fun eyes i hope this rings some bell all those that have been to Ghana, I know you know of what we're talking about. I think it's Africa because I see it even in Nigerian movies, people be selling just like oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the whole Africa. Oh, I didn't hear the Nigerians. Do you have yeah, that? Yeah, they have this as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So, probably whoever is watching, wherever you're watching us from, you can try this and it's the best. So, before we start, <laughs> as we always do, hygiene first, we yes. wash our hands yes. and we will get started so guys our hands are clean now we just got through the ingredients someone will say oh we've got just a little bit of ingredients here why so we just got through you stay tuned to this channel and you see the magic that will be happening here so we've got our condensed milk how do they call this in ghana condensed milk no condensed milk Condensed milk. Hey, that one, dear. <laughs> Condensed milk. And we've got our evaporated milk. We've got strawberries. This one, they will say carnation milk. No, no, yeah, no. with this, you can use any kind of milk that you want. So we've got this at home. So this is what we're going to it's use the same today. Thing. It's the same thing, just different. We've brand. got thickened cream that you can also get from the shops. Or in Ghana or wherever you are you just go to the mall you get it from there and we've got a uh, vanilla essence that will give it a little bit of twist so yeah so these are the five ingredients that we're using today for the fun eyes and with this yeah it's really nice so we're not gonna use this in there just stay tuned to okay. see the secret that we'll be working out with this thing so we just keep this aside and as our hands are already washed, so we start rolling. We'll get our mixer, our hand mixer, mm -hmm. and I'll get a bowl. Oh my god, she started oh, eating. It. Really nice. It is, it is, it's so sweet. I think the bowl is here. Yeah, it is here. So we've got all that we'll be needing for this um, recipe here. First, we have to put our evaporated milk on the fire to heat it up for 10 minutes. So we just put it in the pot, get some water to fill it up and we put it on the stove. So I'll just fill it up with a bit of water, just halfway through. How was that? It's not bad, yeah. I've had three of those. Maybe it's the one that I think. Maybe 
No more. So, <laughs> so guys, we'll leave um, that milk on the stove for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it's just that, even if you don't have a timer, like when the water starts boiling, it's ready. You just take it off, let it cool down. You put it in the freezer for 24 hours overnight. We're going to leave ours in the freezer overnight. Mm -hmm. So just stay tuned and we'll see. So why is boiling the milk in the can? You know, I'm just thinking maybe you should just come just pour it into a, the pot and just like boil it like that. Nah. So um, with this recipe I was being taught, mm -hmm. you have to um, boil it. Mm -hmm. We can't use it like as it is from its normal state. We just warm it up a bit, like roughly cook it. Mm -hmm. And we have to keep it in the can because we have to let it froze. That is why we have to keep it in the freezer. So we can take it off the can and put it in a cup. It should still be in there just to preserve it. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we keep it in the can, cook it, and when it cools down, we take it straight into the freezer, leave it in there for mm -hmm. 24 hours. Yeah. And when it's ready, so I just don't want to go ahead of how I want them to learn. So yeah. gradually, as we go, when you get to see what we'll be doing, yeah. but we can't um, take it off the can and cook it. It should always be in the can to be cooked. That's just how it is. It just has to be like that. That is the procedure. Right. Guys, so remember it has to it has to be in the um the can, like in the original form, in the can, in the water and onto the stove as well. So don't pour it into the bowl or into a pot and then boil it. It won't work like that. So it has to be in, just like how she's put it on the stove. So we'll just wait for it to boil. I think in some few minutes, it's okay. starting to boil now, as yeah. you can see. Yeah, it's getting sort of little bubbles, like the little little ones. Pop it up. Yeah. This is really nice. Yeah. It's got the little bubbles in there. It's got a little bit of steam coming out a bit. Mm. So yeah, it shouldn't take too long. That 10 minutes you said, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so guys, as you can see, uh um evaporated milk is ready now you see how it's boiling up, 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 up. so mm -hmm. we'll just turn off the stove yep let it cool down for about um five minutes maybe mm -hmm. what i normally do i love to take the milk of the pot and just put it here just to let it cool down quickly but you can also leave it in there to cool down but for it to be quicker for me i love to take it off the hot water because it takes more time when it's yeah. still in the hot water. But when it is off it in a bowl, like mm -hmm. it quickly cools down. down. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just chuck this into So guys, as you can see, the milk is cooled down now. We're going to put this in the freezer for 24 hours. And it's late here. So we're gonna leave this in the freezer overnight. But mm -hmm. you can maybe, depending on the time you're making your um, recipe or your fun ice, so probably let's assume you're making it in the morning, mm -hmm. you put it in the freezer probably in the evening around 7 or 8. It should be ready, you just yeah. take it off. It should be frozen. It should be frozen enough by then. So I'll just put this in the freezer. Yeah. So that's going to be in there for 24 hours. Yeah. So you can't make maybe less if like my freezer is like really powerful and you know no. you just like freezes things like in two hours no, like that. It shouldn't be done in that way. Um, the correct procedure or mm -hmm. the correct way to yeah. get um because we're going for a texture. Yeah. So the right um recipe is always to be twenty four hours. Okay. You can go less. You can go more. Wow. So guys. You have to leave it for 24 hours, just wait patiently, and then, you know, take it out when it's 24 hours. Sir, so, I'll see, Ooh, how is it? Not a point yet. No. <laughs>
So that's what it looks like, guys. But that's how it should look. That's how it should look. Okay, okay. so we're going to put it in water for... Why are we putting it in water? Um, just for it to melt, but not melt fully. So, oh, okay. yeah, you know how it's really frozen? Yeah. We'll be um, adding this, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be... Um, just a sec. Okay. Quicken this. So it's gonna be hot when it's frozen like yeah, this, just to let it melt down a bit for it to be easy to work with. Oh, okay. Yeah. How are you just putting warm water for it to melt? Oh, you can do that, but I love putting it in. Doing the right way. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so now our thickened cream is ready. We'll just uh, take the lid off and we'll just pour this in a bowl. So we're going to whip this. Do you want to do that? Yeah, sure. You go for it. I remember one of my girls was whipping this and she over whipped it. <laughs> <laughs> and it became like cheesy looking like I cheese. Know, right? With like water. Oh my god, girl. Oh. And she's always the first one to run to taste. She's a foodie. Foodie guy. Foodie guy.
condensed milk this is the time we need our condensed so with this it gives it like a bit of sweetness mm. so assuming you love a lot of sugar it depends on how you want it to be sweet we don't want it really sweet so we'll be using just half of this into the evaporated milk Tempters. I love like dip 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 but I will do I will just really thank you. So we so we'll tip this in here. Oh okay. Mm. Can you please add in? You see how it is? Add it? Yep. So this is what happened. If you don't um, cook the milk, it's okay. We watch out for the taste first. Mm -hmm. and because I don't like it to be too sweet. So this is how you get the texture. You see what I've got now? It's not really running. No. So um, if you don't cook the milk, and you put it just as it is in the freezer, you're yeah. not going to get this texture. It will be like water, right? It will be very runny. Ah, okay. What are we doing here? Yeah, a bit more. It's okay. we just watching out for the um, taste. Like, we just mm. tasted it and we realized it need a little bit of sugar in there. So with the condensed, it just um, gives you the taste of sugar, the sweetness in there. Because remember, um, the whipping cream, um, cream, it's got no, no taste. No taste, like you can't really taste anything. So for you to get a bit of sugar taste in there, that's why we're using the condensed. So can I? Um... No, please. <laughs> I got my spoon ready. Ah. Do you know? What? I'm gonna still do it. Oh God. She never listens. Mm. Oh God, such a You're embarrassed <laughs> of me. I know <laughs> she always do this. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna cry now. Okay, are we good? It's okay, there's not that much in there. That's what I want. Yeah, I don't want much in there. Maybe we should make like a toffee out of this. Yeah, we can use that for the condensed toffee. toffee. Yeah. So can I have this spoon? Or you I'll give you a different spoon. Yes, please. Don't stress out so much here. Okay. So we'll be using one. Oops. Sorry, nice guys. cash. Might have been a sports player or something. Oh, no, I'm not good. Whoever knows me, I'm really bad with sports. <laughs> I'm Trust surprised me. you caught that. That's why. So we're going to use one tablespoon of the vanilla you know one thing i miss about ghana mm -hmm. i don't know if you ever use the ghana essence it's got this nice not bad. smell which i don't normally get from this one so maybe next time i'll ask my mom mm -hmm. or my sister to get me one from ghana and i'll use it and see how like I'm just used to this one, so I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know you may know the difference. Yeah, yeah so we will, we will try and get that one and we'll work on it. And the see. pineapple one as well. People use the pineapple, but not for this. But yes. I'm just talking about in general the. Um, yeah, you can use the pineapple one for maybe baking. Yeah, that's what I've seen people use it for, like for cookbooks and stuff. I've seen them use the pineapple. Oh, wow. You are really good with that. Oh okay. guys, should I tell you my story on that issue? I don't want to go there. Your buffer issue. Oh my. Your pancake buffer. Oh my. You know. <laughs> and I've got a sister. She's also really good. And oh, I sent yeah. her a video to Sister Ya. And she just started going crazy. She said, what's this? I said, excuse me. That's my version. And she saw it. And this one was also laughing at me. It was bad, guys. The buffer it wasn't even puffy, it was just like flat in the oil. And then she's so happy, like turning it and stuff. Oh, come see, come see, Joe, come see my buffer. So I'm like, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. Nobody ate that. I think she ate 
scared of herself. <laughs> Even the kids were like, oh, mommy, what's this? <laughs> uh, <that's laughs> me. I'm, I'm glad I'm just like us in the house with the kids. Oh, Lord. Okay, it so was bad. I have to test. Oh, this thing, but I'll keep tasting when we finish. Mm. So, this is ready, but it's not ready to be eaten. It's not edible yet. We have to take this back into the fridge mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. about another eight hours. So it's normally mm -hmm. 10 to 11 hours, but after the first eight hours, we'll go back into the fridge and mix it up again. Mm -hmm. Like you stir it and cover it up and put it back in the fridge for another two hours. Oh, it wow. needs to be in the fridge for approximately 11 hours. Yeah. just to get the um, state that we're looking for so with this it looks ready but sorry love you can't eat this you need to take it back into the fridge and always put it in a container with a tight lid mm. so you keep it closed in there so we'll just get our container and we'll turn this into that container cover it up and put it in the fridge this is just an empty container. Yeah, you can use anything. We love using the yogurt container. So like, um, it stays good and smells good because sometimes if we take the bowls from the kitchen, we could have put in maybe onions, blended um, tomato, blended um, chili in there and the smell will be in the container. So bear in mind, if you put this thing in there, at the taste. end of the day, you're going to taste um, a bit of onions or whatever you first put it in there. Bunch the party? Yes, love. You see how it is very creamy, very thick, not runny. But because we want it to be like in block particles, is that how they say it? Uh, I see my. We're just going to put it, whatever it is, we're just trying to put it in the ice cream maker to get this frozen. Mm. I'm just back and forth without making a mess. Mm. Oh, no. It's all right. I've done very well. Not that bad, actually. <laughs> Just turn it on for how many minutes? So, 20. Okay. Ooh, it's like mixing it in there. Yeah. And if you can, I'll turn the window to you so you can see. Oh, it's, it's inside. inside. <laughs> <laughs> so we put it in here for 20 minutes and then we'll check to see how how it's going, right? Yep. So stay tuned guys. So now um it's ready. Um so we've got some um strawberry just to garnish it. And we'll just start eating it. Mm. Large. So just take a bit of this strawberry. You can also cut your strawberry, but I want it whole, so we didn't cut it. So this is the strawberry with the fun eyes. It's just really nice. Mm. Mm. And it's not too sweet. It because tastes, we didn't put much sugar in there. But it tastes exactly like Ghana, like how you get. And it's a bit frozen. Yeah. But we just left it down. So it's kind of melting down. But if we had 
eating it straight away would have been more like ice cream texture. You know how the gummy pan ice like it doesn't really get frozen, like it's more like softy, salty, mm. like the ice particles in there. That is how it should be. So when you leave it down for a bit of time, it melts. Yeah. So just make sure you I'm eat it straight away. away. <laughs> you can eat this with pie, cake, cookies, whatever you do have. Yeah. At home. But I like to go with strawberry. Guys, you should give it a try. It's really nice. And just let us know how you go. It's a long process, yes. But in the end, it's worth it. It's worth a try. Mm. Mm. So don't forget to share, like, comment, subscribe to this channel. And as we said before, this month, was it this month you said? It's going to be like sweet. So all sweet stuff that we'll be showing you guys for the first month of 2022. So stay tuned. And if you learn something, try making it as well. Just let us know what you think of this and how you went as well. It's a long process, so give yourself some time when you're doing it. So, yeah, guys, take care, and we'll see you in the next video. It's bye for now. Bye.